All right, Tabor Jeff Lynn in the garage Sunday, the uh, 3rd of December. We did come along first thing. We, we kind of laid that, that uh, roof skin up here just to look. These areas where we've got it uh, just cut back or holding that roof skin way off up here so we really can't tell much about it. Uh, we took our little uh, paint stripping disc and just got our epoxy back so we can see exactly where the lead is. You can tell a big difference in the sound of that lead versus the metal. But that's what we've got right there. Uh, I don't want to strip it back uh, and grind it out. I think the best way from what I've seen is to probably just melt that out. That way it doesn't get airborne. Uh, of course, uh, uh, you know, that led some pretty bad stuff, and you don't want to be breathing it in a lot, even though we've got a respirator and all. Uh, I think the best way is to melt it out. So we'll uh, we'll stop right here and uh, and run, get us a, a little portable torch. Hi, uh, you two. Not real sure about this, but we're gonna give it a go. See what happens. Got us a little torch. See how hot we got to get it before this stuff starts dripping out. Apparently you got to get it pretty dang hot. There she goes. All right, we're gonna get us a get us a little scrub brush or a piece of wood or something and try to just kind of knock it out as we get it hot. Probably one of these old wood sticks will be a thing. There's the seam starting to open up. I'm gonna try to keep the majority of the heat on this little top piece up here. I don't know just how, I know it's not like welding, but still. All right, YouTube, y'all seen what's gonna happen. I'm gonna just turn this off and go on down and I'll turn you back on when we get it all cleaned up. And uh, we'll try to find them spot welds. All right, tubers, apparently uh, not just spot welds. We've got weld right here on this end. We've got a little stitch right in here in the middle and another little stitch right here on the end accompanied by a crap load of spots. So we're going to get to digging and, and drilling and, and uh, cut these out. 
or probably just take a little disc and grind them out. But they've got a pretty good weld right here. But uh, that's the piece that's got to come out to expose the top of the quarter right there. Tried not to get it too hot. I think we did okay. Pretty good bit of lead in that little old seam there. But uh, still got a little bit of pieces here and there to get out. But once we get this piece out, we'll start cleaning everything up good. And then we'll switch it up on the other side over there and do the same thing. All right, I tell you, we got a mess. Uh, the quarter panel goes up under everything. This inner panel, inner roof panel, laps down over the quarter and then the roof skin comes down and comes in this in this channel and that's what's laid it over. Everything's laid it over. Uh, we've got rust all the way up to where the door window starts right here. All this is pretty good, but we got rust here. The quarter panel is not terrible. There's a few little old places in there, but what we're probably going to do is cut it back and weld in a piece there and just start with that and then come in here and cut this piece back, the inner roof panel, cut it back, let it lap down into here and follow this contour. It's got to follow right from here all the way down. So we got a mess. This, this inner brace part back here is in good shape. Looking at it from the inside, I don't know how good that's showing up, but it's in pretty good shape, not too terrible bad. But we got a mess. We're gonna start fixing, patching, and we'll bring you along. All right, YouTube, the first piece of this puzzle is to fix the lip of the quarter and we've come along and made us a piece five eighths of an inch is about what we cut out we put it on the shrinker and made our little corner there we got it spotted in a few places right here we're gonna come back and weld this in good and we'll start on this little piece that's got the flap down over it we got to remember to make sure and leave ourselves plenty of divot space there if you will for the roof panel so uh, just making sure that that's all recessed in there a little bit. And you can see it is. That's what we're doing. Eight more pieces of this puzzle. But that's all right. It'll all be one piece when we get through welding. All right, Tubers. After probably about an hour or so of fabricating this piece and getting it welded in and cleaned up, we come in here and ground our welds down and redefined or area or pocket, if you will, to kind of hold all this that's gonna go in there. Uh, I'm not really concerned about this back end right here yet, because depending on where that uh, roof skin falls in this channel right here, I've still got work to do from where we left off when we built this uh, window channel way back. And we knew we were gonna have a connecting piece there. We just didn't know how far. That's why we kind of stopped it off down in here. So whenever we get the roof skin in place and all, we can come in here and fill in and connect the dots, if you will. The piece that we need to make looks like, hmm, 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 well, it looks like something, YouTube. I don't know how it got all the way over here. I really don't. Anyway, it looks like this without all the rust and holes and all the googly gah. We kind of know uh, from this area right here what kind of angle, hopefully. But uh, that's the piece that we cut out. And it goes back in there, something similar to that, and we'll let it come all the way back to here. YouTube, I was pretty happy about this corner piece, this very bottom corner. It is pretty stout. Uh, that's where I come in there and cut a little bit, but we can put that back together, no problem. But it's pretty strong. I was glad to see that that wasn't gone. So uh, there's what we're looking at right there. That's what we after. All right, guys, what we're trying to figure out before we try to make this piece it comes out and fits down inside over the quarter right in here. 
What we're trying to find out is how far back it goes. We know where we're going to start at. We need to try to find out if it's all the way and it rolls up over this and then this piece comes in at an angle. We don't know because this area right here was gone. But we know we come from this point out and we just got a little bit of a lip to fold down into this channel or trough. And it's going to be a little bit of a a little bit of a sharper angle here than it will be here just because of the way the, the car shapes. So it'll be a little bit of a tricky deal getting that just right, but I think we can do it. We've done something similar to that in the past. And not having the, the rest of that piece that we looked for a while ago that we flattened out and we're gonna make our template out of, we went ahead and melted the lead out of the driver's side of the car. And boy, I tell you what, they, they welded the crap out of this thing here. And then they got a little small stitch here and then a pretty good weld here. And then they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 spots in that area that's no more than about, I'd say 12 inches at the most. So got my work cut out for me, getting those drilled out. And uh, hopefully we can get that piece off so that we can kind of see if there's anything left over there of this one, uh, exactly what kind of shape it is. And it's no big deal, we know I'm pretty sure it came down here. It just followed this line and laid over this because we took a little piece off right here. So there was something on the top of that other than the roof skin. And, and we know that it's more than likely this piece right here. All right, Tubers. Uh, getting on around toward 5 p.m. We're gonna call it a day and a weekend. Uh, give you a little shot of where we're leaving off. We got this piece made uh, We're not quite finished with it, but it's gonna take up where all that rock was in there um, We got it. We got it on the shrinker stretcher and we got a little bend uh, Kind of following this line that it, where we cut it out Looking pretty fair. We'll come in here and clean up this bottom. We made a mark on the quarter Showing us how much we've got make sure we've got enough to drill this piece and put spot wells into the quarter and we do uh, The plan is to come in here and cut this back all the way across try to find this level So we can do one shot we want we wanted to come in here and cut it back up into here But there's a lot of little tricky bends and folds and things and it make it extremely hard uh, to build so we're going to try to find a point in this area where we get all the rust cut out and that's level or close, very close to level with where that uh, new roof skin will end up. Uh, we did check the other side to kind of find out where this thing goes and it go, it's made and formed all the way in. And that's that little piece. We're stopping off about right in this area right here with the patch on the other side. And then we'll just bend and make a little piece to connect the dots. Same thing up here in this area. Uh, shouldn't be too bad. Just time consuming. YouTube, just time consuming. And uh, that's where we're going to leave off. May get to work on it some in the afternoons, hopefully. If not, we'll definitely be back on it on the weekends. And uh, there's some new panels over there. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, of course, always. We appreciate all the comments, uh, and I got a few new subscribers uh, last few days. I invite y'all to participate, comment, uh, share your uh, insight, uh, and if not, just just join to watch. I, that's fine too. But uh, I do appreciate everybody subscribing, liking, watching, commenting, all the good stuff.